This is a short demonstration of creating drainage uh, cross sections. So to create drainage cross sections, you need a, a Geopack drainage file. I have a drainage project open here, and I have a, um, a basic little drainage system. So I've got some, some inlets, some pipes connected into a network. Um, so in drainage, if I look at my drainage library, for example, and go to my nodes, if I look at any particular node here, and I modify that item, I can see in one of its um, categories that it has a criteria file assigned to it. So when I run uh, proposed cross sections, um, it's going to use this little criteria file to draw the drainage structure and cross section. And so you can see that you wouldn't want to go through your drainage library and assign criteria files that you have created to draw your particular drainage structures and cross-section. Um, beyond that, you would also want to make sure that in your project preferences, under link options, you've given us a link criteria file. So a file, a criteria file that draws all your pipes. We provide one in our samples folder that works quite well, or you could you know, write your own. So it's one criteria file for all pipes, in this case, and then individual criteria files for each particular node. So those are the things that you would want to set up in drainage. Now in the proposed cross sections, and I'm here I'm in a road project I'm going to go to my proposed cross sections so in cross sections there is a drainage option under the criteria or the proposed cross section run and so you toggle on draw drainage components you select your database or your drainage project and then you select your DGM file that contains the uh, drainage graphics. So in my case it's the plan DGN that you see here. So once you have those two things defined and you've gone out and you've defined your uh, criteria for your nodes, then it's just a matter of coming in to your cross-section file and creating your run and go ahead and running it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And I'm just going to do the drainage so that's I, I pretty much don't have any um, DGN or any pavement stuff set up at this point. So I've got my cross sections. I've, I had the four pattern lines in my plan view that I'm going to draw cross sections along. And just real quick you can see if I jump back into the plan view you can see that I've drawn one particular pattern line along the pipe, cross pipe, cross drains. The rest are not quite on the pipe, so they're just crossing the road at different places. All right, so we'll go back into the cross section DGN. And now I also will say that in my cell library, my criteria file looks for a cell called pipe, so that file, that cell library is in my cell list or it's attached here. So you'll see when it, so I'll go ahead and run. And we'll just go continue through there. And then exit. And let's take a look at what we've got. So you can see here, it's drawn the um, based on the criteria, it's drawn these uh, nodes, and then this is the pipe, you know, the cro the pipe, the longitudinal pipe where the pattern line crosses. If I go to another section, I can see here the cross section where the pipe was along the cross drain. It's got the uh, pipe drawn, and then it labels it as well. And so basically, you know. 
that's how you set up drainage. You just go through the project preferences and drainage. You set up the link options. You go through your library and for your individual nodes you set up and assign a criteria and then pull it together within your proposed cross-section run by pointing to the project file and the micro or the microstation file with your drainage data.